Hi everyone, I'm Kim Tischler, Education Coordinator for Student Programs at Mohawk Preserve. Welcome to Nature Nuggets. I'm joined today with my son Soren, and we are doing an experiment to better understand how clouds make rain. What you need is a thing of shaving cream, a jar, a clear empty jar, a, another jar or bottle filled with plain tap water, and some food coloring. We happen to have blue in the house, which is perfect. So Soren's going to go ahead and start our experiment. The water is going to represent air. Great. The shaving cream is our cloud. Clouds are just lots of drops of water all stuck together. When clouds get so full of water droplets that they can't hold any more, the water falls back to the ground as rain. Sometimes the water droplets freeze and fall to the ground as snow, sleet, or hail. And the food coloring represents all the water building up in the cloud. When the shaving cream is full, the colored water starts to fall through the shaving cream. Just like when a cloud becomes heavy with water, it starts to fall as rain. All ages will enjoy making a rain cloud. It's a great activity alongside other weather studies. For older children, it can be a springboard into a deeper study of clouds, precipitation, and the water cycle. A great pre or post activity to this experiment is to take your child or assign your student to go outside right around their home and look at clouds. We took note of the shapes, sizes, and colors of the clouds. And then Soren gathered up some cotton balls and glue sticks and recreated those clouds on some construction paper. Enjoy the cloud study adventure, and kudos to you if you do take us up on this. We are going to continue our rainstorm in a jar, and we'll see you next time. Stay healthy, everyone. <laughs>